fun finger food over here at Church's Chicken. Let's peep this out. YouTube and social media, peep this out guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. Somewhat rested from my trip to Galveston, Texas last week for CraveCon, guys. That was an amazing event. If you guys are curious to see exactly how it all went down, take a look at the newly released video that I just put together showcasing the highlights from that event. I had an absolute blast meeting all of you guys who showed up, along with all the amazing talent who banded together to showcase what it is that we love doing here on YouTube. Guys, it was an absolutely fun event. Definitely hit that video when you get a chance. It was a lot of fun to put together. So aside from a pretty packed week, getting back to normal, and of course getting some reviews out for you guys here on Peep This Out, along with putting that video from CraveCon together. I wanted to swing on by Church's Chicken, guys. They've actually got something brand new that came out shortly before I left, and I just couldn't get around to checking these out, but we're gonna fix that right now. Guys, take a look at the all new Cheddar Pino Biscuit Bites, something that's looking to deliver a little sweet heat to go with some cheesiness inside the biscuits that Church's is known for, but these are gonna be a little bit smaller than that because they're being billed as fun finger foods. Guys, I picked up a five piece for a buck. You can't beat that for a buck. Let me get you right up on here. Let's peep this out up close and show you guys. As you can see, very, very small hush puppy looking little pieces here. Let me pull one of these out just to give you a nice look at the crispness of this. Take a look at that. As you can see, crisped up nice and golden here. What this really is, is really just their biscuit batter. They've got some chopped jalapenos in this, along with some cheddar cheese fried up nice and golden. This doesn't appear to have any honey drizzled on it there, so it's just gonna be those three ingredients, but let's give it a shot and see it real quick for you. The all new Cheddar Jalapeno Biscuit Bites over here at Church's Chicken. Hmm, it's actually pretty tasty, but a little on the dry side with that first bite. As you can see on the inside, there's a little bit of cheese in the corner there. I did get a nice chunk of jalapeno in there as well. The first thing that really hit me with this was the crispy goldenness of the shell itself on here. It's very lightly battered, but it does have the flair of the chicken batter that they actually have on their chicken strips and their regular chicken. It's actually pretty tasty. Mmm. There was a little more cheese in the back of that one, so it was definitely a better bite. Guys, take a look at this one. This one is a little on the larger side here compared to the first one. As you can see, crispy golden. No real hints of the jalapeno on the outside at all because it's all on the in. But as you can see, crispy golden. Very reminiscent of the regular batter again that they use over here at churches. Let's go for another shot. Mmm. That was a very nice cheesy blast right over there, guys. As you can see, a piece of the jalapeno is sticking out in the middle right there. Very, very decent, but as you can see around it, it is very cakey in terms of the biscuit batter. So it's a little on the drier side, but the cheese on the inside is making up for it slightly. It's just not enough to really overpower some of the dryness of the bread itself here, but it really is very nice with the crispy coating. The oils from the frying process itself seems to be picking up the slack after you take that initial bite because you're getting more of the cheese in the beginning. And then what you're left with is really just a little piece of bread with some more jalapenos in there. So again, the cheese is really after that first bite. And then that's where the oils step in for the remaining bite itself there. But pretty tasty guys, not too bad for these at all. You know, these actually aren't too bad. Five for a buck is not a bad deal. These are just slightly smaller than regular donut holes and they do pack a little bit of a flavor punch, which is pretty good as well. It's just not a lot of flavor. That's the only thing. If you guys are expecting a lot of cheese in these, you're gonna be disappointed. It's really more or less hints of cheese. A little squirt in the beginning possibly there, but it's really the frying process that's really taking over after that. The oils of the frying on top of the bread itself and the biscuit are really what stand out here. Aside from a little bit of heat from the jalapeno pieces, but not very much after that there. You are getting a little cheesy flavor in it, but it's not enough to really make you go, oh my god, this thing is loaded with cheese. It's more or less just hints of all of those things together. And I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's decent for what it is. And again, the price is definitely right. Five or six of these for like a buck is not a bad deal at all. I actually had an extra one in here, which was pretty good. But it's not a bad side item by any means. And if you like Church's Chicken in general, this is actually part of a three-piece chicken strip meal that you can get right now for $3.29. So for a little over $2 what you would pay normally to get these separately, you're getting a lot of bang for the buck. And that's pretty awesome. So on that bomb sexy fear face scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give the new Cheddar Pino Biscuit Bites over here at Church's Chicken a very worthy seven out of 10. They're not gonna blow your socks off with flavor, but they are gonna give you a little bit of what they're delivering here, which is a little bit of jalapeno taste, a little bit of cheese taste, and of course the frying that you know and love from Church's Chicken, if you guys are familiar with this chicken in general. It's very similar to that, and they are pretty hearty. It's just that they're a little on the drier side than I would like for what they are considering. And personally for me, a little bit more cheese would have gone a long way, but these are actually pretty tasty, guys. Not bad at all. And that's it for now, gang. This is Ian K closing out another episode of Pipa Sal, taking a look at some fun finger food over here at Church's today, guys, and the new Cheddar Pino Biscuit Bites, a fun little side order item to go with your regular meal over here at Church's. Guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com, and keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see right above me, because after all, this is Peep This Out, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty.
Well, it is definitely good to be home, guys. I'm still recovering from my trip last week, and if you can imagine from CraveCon, we had a blast, and let's just say the after party was off the chain as well. That was a lot of fun. Aside from putting out a couple of fun reviews during the week when I got back, along with that CraveCon highlight video that I put out this past Saturday, it was a very busy week getting back to normal and getting some stuff out for you guys, because you know I love you guys very much. I greatly appreciate the love and support always, and I was very much looking forward to putting some fresh stuff out for you when I got back. So I hope you're liking what you're seeing so far since the event, and of course, there's gonna be a lot more to come. And until the next review, I'll talk to you soon.